The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> our harassment policy has been in place for less than three years, but that doesn't excuse ignorance of it. What I heard from the Premier yesterday indicates to me that he hasn't read it in full or has forgotten some of the definitions. Our policy defines harassment as any behaviour act, conduct or comment, whether occurring on a one-time or recurring basis. Behaviour, act, conduct, comment. Mr. Speaker, when pleading ignorance to allegations made about one of his ministers, the Premier said at no time had anyone raised with me the issue of a member of our caucus physically touching any member of the opposition. This diminishment of the complainant's experiences speaks largely not just to the Premier's approach, but to the philosophy. He claims, despite reports to the contrary, that he wasn't made aware of any of his members physically touching others. So does that mean he was aware of other allegations, Mr. Speaker, perhaps aggressive behavior, profane comments? Our harassment policy goes well beyond physical confrontation, and yet based on these comments, it seems the Premier thinks that all behavior by his members, short of physical contact, is justified, defensible, and acceptable. Mr. Speaker, the policy states clearly, as do we on this side of the House, it is not.